even though everything is staged, I thoroughly, thoroughly appreciate An this. A picture of a black protester carrying a white man to safety is going viral on social media at the moment. This all happened during clashes on Saturday between Black Lives Matter demonstrators and far-right groups in London. Patrick Hutchinson says he picked the man up after noticing he was injured and carried him to police nearby to keep him safe. For more on this pretty unforgettable image, I'm joined by CNN Salma Abdulaziz at uh, London's Waterloo Station where these clashes broke out on Saturday. Really is an amazing image. Uh, tell us more about the man and his motives. That's exactly right, Michael. And those steps just behind me there is actually where this whole scene unfolded. There were right-wing demonstrators clashing with supporters of the Black Lives Matter movement. Now, the Black Lives Matter movement had actually canceled demonstrations for the weekend, but Patrick Hutchinson says he knew that there would be young supporters of the movement that would come out, that they could potentially get into trouble, and that he wanted to act as a peacekeeper. Take a look at our interview. Is this you in the photograph? Yes, that is me in that photograph. Can you describe to me what's happening in this picture? My friends and I sort of put a cordon around this, this man. Uh, he was sort of on the, on the stairs, uh, lying in the fetal position um, with, you know, anything that's about to happen to him. The first time I saw him was when I sort of climbed underneath him to go and pick him up. And you could have looked at this man and thought, he is my enemy. Why did you choose to help him? There was a particular thought that I had that, you know, you have to show some sort of, uh, you know, love for your fellow man, okay? Show some sort of, uh, you know, love for your fellow man, okay, regardless. Because I, I was saying that if the other three officers that were present when um, George Floyd was, was unfortunately murdered, if they, just one of them had stepped in uh, and, and stopped, um, you know, their fellow officer from doing what he did, he'd be alive today. And you, you put him on your shoulder, you carried him over to the police, then what happens? I'm carrying him, my friends are surrounding me, protecting myself and the man on my shoulder. Um, he was, you know, still sort of getting, uh, receiving blows. Um, you could sort of feel people trying to hit him. I uh, carried him over to the police and uh, I said, here you are. And one of the police officers said, thank you, you did a good thing, a good thing there, Mary. What do you want people to take away when they look at that picture? I think... What do you want people to take away when they look at that picture? I think hopefully they'll take away breaking down the race barriers and take away breaking down the race barriers and, and realise and see that we're all one people, that we're all one race. And this is what's so extraordinary about the Black Lives Matter movement, Michael. It doesn't have one address. It doesn't have one leader. It's not a monolith. It's how you interpret the idea and how you interpret the idea. And for Patrick, interpreting that idea meant coming out on Saturday, even though he'd never attended any of the demonstrations, coming out on Saturday, trying to keep the peace between these two viciously opposed groups and helping a man who could have potentially held prejudices against him, although he did not know who that man is and he remains unidentified. And as you heard, Anonymous. That, Patrick's hope is that, yes, in that moment he acted on instinct, but that there is a message in that and that everyone is equal, everyone is Good human. Job, Patrick. Because he hopes that that man he has rescued might see that picture and think that way as well. Michael.